What's the password? Can I come in? Nah, that ain't it. Get on out of here, kid. This is for adults only. Hey guys, this is part two of my Walmart find. Now these are mainline cars and other cars that I found that are kind of cool. And wanted to show you guys and gals and cats and kittens and skirts and suits. So I hope you enjoy this. These are brand new. Peg hunting and I found something. It's crazy. So let's check her out and see what we found. Hey cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Whoop, whoop, look at this. We got a whole big pile of cars. And let me tell you, these again were some of the cars that were tucked up and beyond uh, not on display. And I hung up all the cars. I kind of consolidated the matchbox. They were pretty loose and far and few between. And fit them all on the truck so that the workers didn't have to do it. La Troca! Oh, look at this! Did I tell you how much I love this culture? <laughs> the food, the people, the families. Oh, I'm telling you. I love it. This is number nine of ten cars. Here's the uh, code, case code that this came in. La Troca. Four by four and trucks ready to work or race. Now, I haven't read a lot of this stuff in lately, but like Steve Goodman used to sing, what have you done for me lately? Because lately I've been doing without you. <laughs> uh, look up Steve Goodman. <laughs> he has some great songs. It's 116 to 250. And I'm telling you, it is like a metal flake gold that just will shine like crazy. And the pinstriping paintwork just beautifully done I totally love this now if I were gonna customize this I think the only thing I would do is paint this bed to be more uh, natural wood with some wood grain in there and maybe some black uh, lines in between I know some of you guys would change out those wheels on there but I kind of like them Oh, that's so nice. Anyways, that is truck number one. Car number one. Then I saw this and just a Woody. <laughs> Come on. Now, you know the 31 Woody, uh, Ford Woody Model A is one of my favorite cars of all time. And then if you have like a woody station wagon or whatever this is a volkswagen beetle i thought of saw also compact kings he would probably be digging this this is a long card look at that compact kings get it two of tw two of five now unfortunately they don't list them on this package i did see a couple more but they were the tuned goofy goober cars which were really goofy for me. And if you don't like fantasy cars, you would just be like, you saw them, you would probably faint, collapse, or puke. Because they were just very different. Then, we had to get this. This is... I have no idea what that is. This is an MM card. Car. This is the famous guy, whoever's car this was, and he's since 1993, but look at this, 91 Miata MX-5 Miata, easy for me to fumble over, but look, this is what we got sitting in the garage, but it doesn't look anything like this. Now, I, they had a red Miata with a whale tail, like a big fin on it. And guess what? I never found it. 
I was looking, never found it. Which is too bad. I'm hoping to find it at the at the uh, flea markets maybe this summer. Might have to pay a little bit of premium just to add to the Miatas. Now, you noticed one wheel is purple, one is pink. Two different colors. And it shows that on the car, on the card. Here's the bottom. So it's not like a mistake or anything, like you thought it might have been, but all you car cool hipsters already knew that. But old Fuddy Duddy, live under a rock in a cave guy, didn't. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to give one of these to Big Mama and she's going to go, what the heck do I want it with a hot wheel? I'm like, it's a Miata. Oh, <laughs> so, anyways, very beautiful, fun little Miata. Then I saw this, Hot Wheels Dream Garage. There it is, Saul. Bone Shaker. You got one of these? I don't even know what it says, but look at that insignia on the side. That is nuts. Crazy. Very cool graphics. Very much on the wild side. Now, again, it's... it's Saul usually is high-end, classy... You know, not this type of car, but Saw loves the Bone Shaker. So, this is car number 105 of 250 cars that are being released this year. Now, has anyone ever collected all 250 cars? If you are, you are spending way too much time in the stores. I tried to do that for three years in a row, and oh my gosh, I was miserably failing. I could not find anything. So, now I just kind of pick and choose. And this, this graphic is pretty cool. I know they're not doing the graphics by hand anymore, but that's, that's okay. Look at this, 99 Honda Civic Type R EK9. Again, Soda Pop would totally know what this is and it will probably end up in his collection. This is number five of five, 25 of 250 cars. Look at that, red interior, they got the red interior, they got the nice wheels on it, black on black. Look at that. Again, the details of this year, they seem to be kind of stepping up the game for their main lines, which is pretty nice. I wish they could figure out a better thing for the, the headlights. But that is, again, a very nice car. <clears throat> Another Miata. This one is the J. I forgot to show you the J on there. So we got two of those. <coughs> Pardon me. Then, this is the first time I found one of these. This is J car. Number three of ten. Got it. What is going on there? And this is 118 at 250, and here's your code. And it is an S2000. So, this is what Soda Pop is driving. Well, it was driving. It's in the repair shop right now. And he's working on it. RYU on there. His does not have a big, huge tail like this. But he does have a convertible. He has uh, new seats in it. Super fancy headlights. He's got, I think, most of the trim on it. <coughs> and he wrenches it himself. <coughs> so, because I found one, then I found two. Because this is the first one I ever found. And then I found three. And then I found four. I was a hoarder today. Forgive me. <laughs> but 
like I said, these will probably end up in Soda Pop's collection. Then I went back and forth on this truck, but look at the beauty of this truck. This is an 83 Chevy Silverado. This thing is gorgeous to me. Has great graphics, the green and yellow with the black accents. Just fantastic. I wish they had something a little bit different for this, uh, the better the trucks. I mean, even if, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to engineer that a little better, but it needs to be better. So I know they, some of the plastic packaging comes with some rib, rib, uh, uh, ribs on it like that. Not like spare ribs, but ribs to strengthen it. And maybe you could cut out a piece, paint it, and put it in there. But this is a really sweet ride. High, hot Wheels, Hot Trucks, 83 Silverado. This is 114 of 250. Look at that. That is nice. Here's all your mumbo jumbo gumbo. But I thought, I, I got it. Put it back, got it, put it back. Then, thinking of my old buddy Solinsky, here's a Baja Blazer. Right? It is a Baja Bone Shaker! <laughs> Coming to the Monster Truck Rally near you! <laughs> Have you seen this one? You probably got six of them now. Look how different that front end is. You got almost a full skull on it. Here's the graphic on the side. See if we can focus on it. Baja Bone Shaker Hot Wheels. Is that crazy fun or what? That is pretty sweet. And it shows the desert. This is number two of ten. I'm getting a Glarinsky on there. So, yeah. Little fun fact. I'm a Polak. <laughs> and I love it. So, anyways, what happened was, uh, Grandpa came over and totally changed the name to our real name. <laughs> and he was running from Hitler. And look, we got two of these. Two, two, two mints in one. And they are identical. Nothing's different. There's no variations or anything. But I just thought it would be good to have two. So anyways, he changed their name. I didn't find out that until we are in high school. Look at this. 1976 Honda CVCC, baby. Look at that beauty. Oh, do you remember these? And a look again at the detail of that grill. This is totally fantastic stuff. Simple factory wheels on there. Here's your secret super code in the license plate. 1976 Honda Civic. 21 of 100 cars. So Hot Wheel puts 250 out, and Matchbox, because here it is, 2021, puts out 100. Pretty nice. Here's the case number. Now, how our Matchbox this time in Walmart had nothing. They had the same thing, but this was the only one of this. They had one of those. Uh, uh, I don't even know what it was. It was just goofy. Here's an Austin Martin. Now, again, this is not normally Hot Wheels screen time. This is not usually a car I would buy. A Valhalla concept. But look how sweet this is. And what made me... Look at the headlights. Again, painted on. Very interesting. And let's look at the back here. Might have detailed that out a little bit. Again, you customizers can deal, detail it out. But it's, look. 60 years of James Bond. 
No Time to Die. Isn't that cool? Remember when I did the, I had a Johnny Lightning series of the James Bond cards that I collected about 15 years ago, 20 years ago. So that was pretty sweet. So James Bond movie car, again, slightly different, um, different packaging, and that's why I like that. And then this one, Diecast Dave. <laughs> If you haven't seen this already, or have 10 of them already, you're going to want this one. This is 111 of 250. You ready? Look at this wagon. Oh, Big Charlie, too, is a wagon collector. This is one of five. Hot Wheel Wagons. It is a 70 Chevelle SS wagon, which we've seen before, but look at the paint job on this. Again, simple, fantastic hot roddy. Yep, let's put the surfboards on and head to the beach, baby. <laughs> that is where we need to be on a bright, sunny day. Here's your base on it. But isn't that a sweet car? We've seen the, the, the uh, die cast before, this, this mold before, but in these colors again just such a classy fun look so there you got it <laughs> these are all the cars that I found in Walmart with these and my one treasure hunt that I found I'm so excited <laughs> and I can't hide it <laughs> I'm about to lose control oh no okay anyways sorry little goofy goobers on this I appreciate it we are gonna get into the box number five I can't wait to see what's in there I'm telling you some crazy crazy stuff in that last couple boxes from my friend from church which I have to return but this I had to do a little sidestep in between that box because I know that box is gonna be like four or five videos there's a ton of cars in there because that thing is heavy, unless there's a brick. So anyways, till next time, my friends. <laughs> we'll see you on that flip-flop, on that orange black top. And remember, life does not start till after 316 on the old Johnny Clock. So, until then, rock on, my babies. <laughs> Rock on! I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.